Kathy on a blogger from the U.S. And I'm inspired by your story. I'd love to hear more about the outside influences of you overcoming being a woman coming from the North and going into journalism. Okay, so quickly, um, the question on uh, fake news, particularly and the distortion of facts, I think these are real dangers, and I'm not trying to gloss them over or say they're not significant. Um, but I don't think censorship is the answer. I think it is um, empowering people who are sort of interested and, and promoting standards in the industry. So, for example, I am now um, um, anchoring. Uh, a conversation within the Nigerian media space for self-regulation. And I think what that will do is not just about, um, you know, making sure that things are, it's about standards, it's about pushing the standards up. Because I think increasingly people will come to sources that they trust. Eventually you will see the, the other side of it. People will, we, will learn to sort of say, this is fake news, we're not going there. So and it's one of the reasons I'm sitting at my radio station. I'm hoping we will earn the trust of people as the medium where you can go and check and make sure that what you've heard is actually valid. So it's, it's the age we're at and it's dangerous because of the trumps of this world, the worries of this world. But you know, you have to just keep fighting. Um, you, you, it's, it's an excuse to clamp down on, you can't use it as an excuse to clamp down on freedoms. Because those freedoms are the things that will allow us to fight back against those that are trying to sort of um, shape the world in a certain way. And so that's why it's important. And the question about next, yes. how much time have you got? Yeah, you can come But quickly, I can tell you it was a mixture. It was the environment, but it was also management failures. You know, there were things that we got wrong. Um, in any other place, we might have had an opportunity to self-correct. But because we were in Nigeria, because of the nature of the journalism we were doing, it was impossible. But I don't see next as a failure. I, yeah, I'm just, just, just for the record. I think we did very well, actually. So, what, what, what words of inspiration can you give to other girls following your, in your footsteps who may have come from the north and things like that to be able to overcome things that may try to stop them? Um, I, I, ooh, uh, it, you know, it's really hard to talk to people when you don't walk in their shoes. I'm a little bit wary of being prescriptive because I think circumstances change. But there's one thing that I always believe is important in for people here who may take it for granted, for us in the North, I think that's the biggest tool, and it's education. I think if you can, you know, get yourself an education, then everything is possible. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, tell us about that. Okay. I love it. years, race was not an issue. Yeah. So even in the BBC, um, 
I remember a friend of mine, Joan, um, black girl, amazingly talented, multilingual, Cambridge first, all of that, always crying in the toilet in the BBC because, you know, of Oxbridge boys bullying her and all of that. The first time she came to Nigeria, I had not seen her in ages, she picked up the phone and called me and said, I get it. I used to wonder where that bloody confidence used to come to me. <laughs> you know? And so race has been less of an issue for me, to be honest, than, than gender. Uh, because I struggle with gender in the North, and I think I struggle with it even here, just to a different you know, extent. Um, yes. But you're up to you, all the uh, misogynists, aren't you? <laughs> I hope so. so. <laughs> have you enjoyed yourself this afternoon? Amazing. How have you enjoyed yourself this afternoon? Katria, how have you enjoyed yourself? Oh, absolutely glorious. Thank you so much for the honor. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Thank you. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I think that deserves some sort of vacation for the entire design. That was Paramount and Beard.